Hi guys, welcome to another video. I just thought I'd show you how we test a pressure chamber. Over the years, we've had requests for pressure testing torches to see if there's a fault or not. GoPro housings can also be faulty. There is a way of pressure testing them that is uh, not destructive. What you do is you have a chamber half full of water and the rest is air. You put the device inside through a lid. There is an attachment point inside. You pressurize that with air. If there's a leak in the device, the air will go into the device. You then quickly swing it around, flooding it and releasing the air at the same time. So the air will now escape out the device and not enter the device. And if you see bubbles coming out of it, you know there's a leak, you quickly turn it back out of the water and it'll be dry. The, this is not a design we've developed. This is just something we've manufactured here following similar smaller designs for mainly for watches. It's how they do pressure testing on dive watches. So at the moment, we've built this, clamped it together, O-rings everywhere, and it's a very strong tube that can handle, I think six bar. We're gonna operate it around two bar, equivalent to of 20 meters. There's a sealed lid that goes on with an attachment point inside for torches and housings to be set. So what I wanna do now, is test that it can hold the pressure. We're going to take it up to about two and a half bar, but we'll only work it at about two bar. So at the moment, there's only water in it, very little air. So as you know, we've used this device in the past for testing floats. It's a pressure gauge that applies water pressure. I'll take the pressure off. So it goes from zero to 25 bar. Our water pressure in our tap here is about five bar. I'm going to open the pressure now. There, we've got just over five bar today. It does vary from day to day. I'm not going to be putting five bar into here. We're only going to go up to about two and a half bar and we will use the device at about two bar, which is equivalent of 20 meters. If something's going to fail, it'll generally fail in the first few meters, but we will take them down to 20 meters. So now I'm going to connect that to the tank. So it's at zero pressure now. I'll slowly take it up to two and a half bar. Little bit over there. There is a slight leak, but that's going back through the valve itself. I'm gonna quickly disable that. So there, she's holding well at one and a half bar. We'll be pumping it with air in future with our products inside so that we can test. She's holding well, no leaks, so I know this is good to go. For the testing, we're gonna have half water, half air, and we'll be pressurizing it with air. Again, no more than two and a half bar. Not at all dangerous, roughly that of a car tire pressure. So, there's the device. In the next video, we'll show how we actually put product inside and do the testing itself and uh, see how it goes. Hope you enjoyed that. Stand by for the next.